Welcome back to the channel. In this advanced tutorial, we demonstrate how to create a deck arc model for your astrophysics mount using APCC Pro and Astrophysics Point Mapper software. If you are watching this, we assume you already know something about deck arc modeling and are interested in details on how to go about creating one. However, we will briefly review what it is and why you may want to do it. Sky modeling is a relatively recent software innovation primarily for astro imagers. Sky modeling maps sky position and using plate solving builds a model based on actual measured positions in the sky rather than theoretical ones. The software then uses this information to refine the mount accuracy for both pointing and tracking. Sky modeling is so good that in many instances it can be used for unguided high resolution imaging. More details on sky modeling and where it fits into mount performance strategies is covered in another video linked here and in the description below. Another benefit of sky modeling is that it can be used with your existing astrophysics mount, provided it meets certain minimum requirements for hardware and software. We'll get to that in a moment. One possible downside to sky modeling is that it requires time to map the entire sky. Since sky modeling tends to work better with a larger number of points, this process could easily use up a few hours or more of precious imaging time. Deck arc modeling is a specific use of sky mapping aimed at bringing the tracking improvements of sky modeling to imagers who have limited time to put towards building a sky model each night. Deck arc modeling is not a specific feature, but rather an approach to restrict sky mapping to a path for a specific target and thereby minimize the amount of sky needed to be mapped. The second part of deck arc modeling is the deck arc tracking. This is a relatively new algorithm inside of APCC Pro that can be enabled to further enhance tracking accuracy. Targeted sky mapping combined with deck arc tracking algorithm creates deck arc modeling. Deck arc modeling is a great choice for astro imagers who want to get the best possible tracking but don't want to or can't invest the time needed to create a large all sky model. Any imager who sets up and tears down their setup regularly, such as a mobile imager, is a great candidate for deck arc modeling. The last thing we'll cover is prerequisites for the rest of this tutorial. These are the same requirements for using deck arc modeling. You will need a mount controller that is either a CP3, CP4, or CP5. If CP3, it needs to be at least revision V1 or revision V2 if you have an encoder mount. Your mount will need to be set up and performing properly. All relevant astrophysics and related software is installed and working correctly. Your mount and computer are able to connect and communicate. You have a compatible plate solver installed and working correctly. As of this tutorial, APPM supports Pinpoint, the SkyX Image Link, Sequence Generator Pro, and ASTAP. You will need APCC Pro version 1.9.4.3 or later and a license date of September 1st, 2020 or later. And finally, you will need ASCOM V2 version 5.50.03 or later. Astrophysics always encourages customers to update and use the latest software versions for your specific setup. You can always find the latest versions on the Astrophysics website software updates page. The first thing we need to do is find the declination of our target. We can get this information in many different ways, but for now we are going to use a planetary program to find the target's coordinates. Here I am using Stellarium. For viewing convenience, I've already confirmed the location, date, and time settings are correct. The target I selected to image is NGC 918, a spiral galaxy located in the constellation Ari. Open up the search dialog box and enter the target designation. Stellarium will move to that sky position and select the target. Here we can see the coordinate information we need. The declination is 18 degrees and 36 minutes, so we will use a declination of 18 degrees. Next, we will set up our deck arc points using Astrophysics Point Mapper, or APPM for short. First, we open APCC Pro. 
For convenience, we connect APCC to the mount and show the 3D telescope model to help us visualize the mapping session. APPM is available from the Tools menu, or APPM is also available via the Pointing Model tab. We will switch to the Pointing Model tab because we will also use the other features here to complete our deck arc tracking model. Open APPM by clicking on the button. APPM is a separate companion program installed with APCC Pro. We aren't going to cover a full setup of APPM in detail since this is covered elsewhere, but we'll briefly go through the tabs. On the Run tab, we connect our scope and our camera, and optionally our dome. Enable polling of environmental variables. Variables such as temperature and pressure can impact your model's accuracy, so if you have an environmental monitor, make sure it's correctly connected in APCC. APPM takes the environmental information from APCC via the scope connection. In general information, make sure that your information here is correct. Under camera settings, choose a binning and duration that's going to work well with plate solving. Under plate solving, choose your relevant plate solver application. Since we are using deck arc modeling, we assume time is short and we may not be connected to the internet, so we disable all sky plate solving to avoid long timeouts. Otherwise, stick with the rest of the defaults. Measurement points is where we do most of the work to define our deck arc map. First, let's click show points so that we can see the effect of different model parameters. We can see differences in the mapping point densities by choosing small, medium, or large map defaults. For deck arc modeling, we want to set up a point map that is focused on a single declination value and two additional declinations, one immediately above our target declination and one below it. If you are using APCC meridian or horizon limits, make sure these checkboxes are enabled. Otherwise, disable them. Next, set your minimum altitude. For example, here we never image below 30 degrees, so we will set the minimum altitude to 30 degrees. Now we will focus on the declination settings. Our target declination is 18 degrees, so I will set a minimum southern declination of 17 degrees, and a maximum northern declination of 19 degrees. Finally, we want to set a declination spacing of 1 degree. We should end up with three values at each RA point, and enlarging the model shows us, in fact, that this is the case. Next, we will adjust the right ascension spacing. In general, we want a dense number of points, but need to balance that against the time it will take to run the map. A good starting point is 3 degrees. We can see how long this will take us by clicking the Estimate Time button. If we want a denser map, we can reduce right ascension spacing and update the estimated time. However, a good place to start is about 3 degrees and usually will take about half an hour to complete the map. You may also notice two mapping points in the center that are always present. These are points near the zenith on both east and west that help ensure model consistency and are always added to every map. Now we have set up APPM for deck arc mapping and are ready to run it. Switch to the Run tab and click Start. You will be asked to confirm all of the settings and values. If you see anything that's incorrect, go ahead and click Cancel and then correct the settings and then click Start again. Now we click OK to begin the mapping process. You are seeing an actual mapping run that is sped up to show how APPM moves the telescope through the sky, imaging and solving at each point along the point map we just created. Once the mapping run is successfully completed, confirm you want to load this pointing model into APCC, which will then make it the active model. It's generally okay if you have a few bad plate solves in your model. 
If you have too many bad solves, there may be a problem with your equipment or settings, so you will want to cancel this, recheck your equipment and settings, and rerun the point map. We are now finished using APPM. You can disconnect the scope and the camera and close the application. Back in APCC on the Pointing Model tab, you will want to make sure that pointing corrections are disabled and tracking corrections are enabled. You will also want to make sure that Enable Deck Arc Tracking option is enabled. Don't be fooled by the simplicity of this checkbox. Deck Arc Tracking is a modern, sophisticated, and powerful algorithm to enhance precision tracking and is unique to astrophysics mounts using APCC Pro. You are now finished setting up your Deck Arc model and you're ready to image with enhanced tracking thanks to Deck Arc model and Deck Arc tracking algorithm. Remember, this model is unique to this target or more specifically this declination. If you move to a different target, you will need to build a new Deck Arc model by repeating these steps.